I think that uh, in terms of a beginning teacher, uh, the most uh, important starting point of anything is working with the, uh, the teacher librarian. Uh, when uh, student teachers come into the school, they're, they're, they're enthusiastic, they're ready to rock and roll, but they don't always have the, um, the resources and things that they need. And the person that uh, is uh, available to them is the teacher librarian because the teacher resource centre is, is next door and uh, the support process is, is um, uh, much easier with uh, the teacher librarian. Also, come into the library to get to know your children in um, a different context, to see what they're reading, where their interest levels are at, the levels of reading abilities that you're working with in your classroom, and um, just get familiar with what we have and what we can see and use in the library for the units that you'll be teaching in your classroom. I would say when, when they visit a school, when they're preparing for a, a working session at a school to, to get to know their teacher librarian, visit the learning centre and explore not only what resources are available, but what possibilities there are. Make it part of that uh, initial stage, as Tony said, that when you do come to the school, come and see us. And um, then we know where you're heading, we, we know where we can help you, and you already know us when you start. I think the other thing is be a sponge. Gather resources, gather websites. Uh, if you're really daring, create a hot list and so that when you have leave the school, you have got so much more at your fingertips than when you first came. And that's what your teacher librarian is there for. The process of um, coming to a school can be daunting for a beginning teacher. You know, when you're appointed uh, to come and, and have a prac at, say, St Augustine's, um, there are certain requirements that the university would have in, in order to fulfil the needs of, of that practicum. Um, my advice would be that uh, the, uh, the student teacher needs to come into the school, obviously work with the classroom teacher, um, and then spend time in the library with the teacher librarian uh, because the units of work that may be taught at that time, um, uh, devised by the student teacher, can be more comprehensively explored through uh, the support of the, of the teacher librarian because of the resources that we have at our fingertips and trying to, to marry a learning program that's written for a group of children that the, the student teacher doesn't know um, uh, can be a bit rough. And I think that uh, the starting point before any prac takes off would be to come into the school and visit and then uh, take time to, to visit the library. Whilst it's important to be very organised as a student teacher or a beginning teacher or as an existing teacher, um, you need to be flexible in the way that you present lessons not put the emphasis on teaching but actually facilitating learning and giving students um, the ability to use their own skills when they're actually answering or expanding their knowledge along the way. Well, I have to agree with you. Um, I'd say three most important things is be prepared because you need to be prepared for anything and be flexible because then that helps. And, but most of all, I think you should carry a sense of humour with you wherever you go, because otherwise you just won't cope. <laughs> in terms of this um, context that we're in at the moment, in terms of education and the whole change from you know, state-based to national-based and the expectation that uh, an inquiry uh, framework is going to underpin the learning, uh, it's important for student teachers to have a, a strong uh, understanding of how uh, children learn. You know, and that's very important. From there, I think that um, all that we've said in terms of uh, library visitations and physically being present and, and engaging uh, is an important um, starting point. And the more we do that as a group, uh, the more effective we're going to be.